Vision, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. It's time to get started. It is Dawnbreaker OC versus ACX, and it's going to look to be a good go. It is live, it's going to be fantastic. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this helicopter goes. We have Blosco and Evil Monkey taking off, doing the fast spawn, and that's going to be them starting to engage the enemy attack helicopter. A sound is going a little bit buggy. Let's see what's going on. Leave them to engage for now. The infantry are pushing here on top. And Losco is going to be engaging the transport helicopter. There's one infantry there dropped off the roof. Tough Tone is down. And there it is. Prosco has the advantage on... Cobalt Squad. Cobalt Squad is on fire and he's going to be taken out. The air control is going to believe that... Oh, Losco using the extinguisher. And that is the air asset in control of the US team. Malosko might commit suicide for some reason, I do not know why, I'm not sure exactly, but there it is, probably to get onto the ground right there, but here we have Lumi from ACX, Kamek, LGZ, LZG, on the point in the garage, very good position to hold, you're right in between Alpha and Bravo, it's good cover, the tank has some difficulty to get inside, but there it is, Kamek is getting lit up already from opposing infantry, the incendiary grenade being launched into the garage to try and flush out the infantry, but there is one there, Kamek is being patient and waiting, he's in low health, he's chucked the incendiary grenade, but he gets taken out by, um, Adzi in the tank, and down he goes. Money cube on Delta Point, Delta Point is not... Up for grabs, there's one infantry here on Echo Point, is Shona clearly being steady and watching as he tries to control his angles as he pushes onto the point. There he is, onto these on the cap phrase. Are there any infantry for him to contest against? There is Tough Tone here. OC Bagai is on the bottom building. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this gigantic, ridiculous cap point here on Delta Flag. And Tough Tone gets taken out by Bagai. And it looks to be a reasonable victory for them on echo point here the tank is holding here amroth trying to get the land of the shot on the helicopter but no luck there as he misses unfortunately but this is an interesting position for the tank to hold with him being right here he can use this garage as cover from the helicopter while oc possess control of the air but there it is look at this positioning here from uh i think it's a doozy a doozy is in the tank on Charlie Point, and it's a very good point as well because you can look straight into the Charlie uh, China spawn and, you know, tag and light up that attack helicopter. One second, let me... Oh, no, there we go. Nice. Uh, one... And I get just a quick reminder of what's going on. Oh, a doozy has the stinger, the eagle loadout. He does not manage to get the shot in, but that's okay. You can tend to see vehicle drivers using um, this. Hold on one second. I'm very, very sorry. Let me turn the sound here a little bit and so you can hear the commentary a little bit better. And I can kind of hear myself thinking as a doozy launches the incendiary, taking out Jebs. Great positioning there with the incendiary grenade. That fire is truly. <laughs> oh, he. He did set the roof of this on fire. Literally, where is Nelly when you need him? Ladies and gentlemen, Aramoth here in a bad position, popping APS, and let's see what's going to be happening here as he's, you know, getting C4 as the slabs dropping in from the top. Aramoth is not doing well. He's struggling. He's encountering several obstacles, and he's exposed here as one small does get launched towards his direction. Aramoth retreating on 26 health. He doesn't have much cover here. He's very exposed next to the bridge on Charlie Point. He is on fire. And there he does, ultimately getting taken out by Burgaz with the small. Jebs and Cobalt Squad control of the air. Let's see if the enemy helicopter is up. No, it is not. Cobalt Squad will be making sure that no infantry are going to be pushing up to any flags which are currently in possession of China team and keep OC at bay and try and push. Do a coordinated push, which is happening right now on um, Bravo Point. There he is. But then we have Tough Tone trying to shoot, but only thing he's trying to hit, see is his toes as he does get light up tough tone trying to run around the corner he has only 21 health he has been spotted and there it is the famous <laughs> eight times scope on the magnum i never would have imagined him playing with any other loadouts and he does get taken out was by marst but jebs and cobalt squad being a little bit passive very difficult for the helicopter to be successful 
to navigate around all these buildings. They provide great cover and protection against stingers, so, you know, the infantry will struggle to take out the tank. But there it is, Cobalt Squad acting as a mobile spawn point there, making sure his infantry can spawn in and get a good position to continue pushing Bravo. But there is Alpha Flag breaking. Three infantry here swarming in. There is Burgas. He gets taken out. But who is this program? By guy pushing in. He sees two infantry. He pushes him. He's using the shelves for cover. He doesn't get taken out by Money Cube. And a little dip dip potato chip for victory as a doozy comes in. It's lustful with vengeance. 25% health. It's not looking it would be a good, very good situation for him as the bus does get taken out. And he's still alive. And gets flanked from the behind by Kamek. So here we go, Losko in the helicopter engaging Money Cube. Let's see how this helicopter fights goes on. Cobalt is using that hotel building as cover to stay low, but having the height disadvantage does mean that his cover is not going to be able to engage and does end up getting taken out. Evil Monkey switching seats and I believe using the fire extinguisher on the helicopter to keep it up in the air. There it is. Oh, Evil Monkey and Defibrillators throwing the med packet on the helicopter. You know, keep your team alive. Keep them alive and well in the helicopter. Make sure you have the med packet. They're very important. As we see, Delta is starting to blink here. 197 tickets to US Blue, and Shun the Killer is on Delta Point. Three flags to the control of China Team. That is China Red with ACX. Well, how you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is BCL. My name is Mr. Falls here on Level BF. Thank you for tuning in and supporting the 8v8 Competitive League. These guys here in Major Division, and they're playing for some awesome prizes from our partners at Courser Gaming, providing over $2,000 of prizes. Look at how tasty is that. Eight keyboards being awarded to the first place winners. Second place getting eight void headsets. And last but not least, third place getting a piece of the tasty prize pool pie. And that is going to be some lovely gaming mice from Courser Gaming. Of course, and uh, you can also go to bcl.online if you want to have a look at the Premier Division games which are happening right now in French or Russian and Polish. Check it out. Have a look. See how they're doing and support your teams there. Um, at the mean, yeah, it is uh, TAF versus Nine May uh, for in the Premier uh, playoffs, and for the second team that is playing tonight, it is Velocity versus. Um, 30 centimeters, but there it is, Money Cube with the small, taken out, being taken out by Burgraz. And yes, but Burgraz being absolutely blind, taking out the G18, he's being engaged, and he does the infantry's right there behind the corner, but Amroth with the tank, using the LMG, I believe, it manages to take him out, Chunakiller landing a great shot with a comeback on Kamek, spawning in. There he is, he's not gonna make his getaway as his uh, handlebars glitch away from the quad bike and he does get taken out. The upside down tank from uh, Ar uh, Amroth. A nice little surprising event there because physics do not matter. I'll be trying to engage. Amroth is being taken out. His streak was stopped. Let's have a look at the scoreboard and see what's going on here. Evil Monkey leading his team. OC 19 14 for 4 in the attack helicopter, but now on foot. Three flags to the control of Octavius and Turon. 179 tickets to 60. Looks like a first round will be a victory for Team Octavius and Turon. Yeah, guys, this is a two minute delay stream, so if you're wondering why the re responses are slow, don't worry about it. I am reading your comments, and hello to everyone who is here. Delusions, uh, nice to see you, nice to meet you. Zero one, zero, Mr. Noises, Irish Tracker, Washid. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting these guys. And of course, you know, they're playing for, they're gonna be winning some points. And what do points mean? Prizes. And by guy here repairing a doozy in the fat American tank. But you know, it's not much of a disadvantage. And here is the push for Alpha. There is Mars responding to the blinking flag, trying to provide and stop and tank is out. Tough Tone, beautiful peak pre fire there. And Alpha flag is still. Not burning to his favor, it's at a standstill. One infantry remaining. There could be a spawn coming in for, AC, uh, for OC. Evil Monkey is there. One infantry behind him. ACX Miner peeks, gets killed. Marst is on it. Lysid as well. Another double kill. And Lysid goes down as well. Marst with a tank. <laughs> Not a good idea to throw slams on your tank. But there we go. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Charlie being contested right now by Money Cube. He's on the low side of the bridge using these support structures that are bitter. And it's always difficult to, you know, go from the top of the bridge if you have air control, go stay on the bottom if you do not. And that is why the helicopters are currently engaging each other here. And let's see, with the OP sun blurring my vision and I am unable to see what's going on here, let's have a look at um, Evil Monkey and see if he's going to be able to 
launch a beautiful TV shot onto Cobalt Squad. And here comes one TV just missing him by the skin of his teeth. Oh dear lord. Evil Monkey, let's have a look at what Cobalt Squad is seeing right now using the building as cover. He knows Oski is deciding to rush him. He's by himself. He doesn't have a gunner with him. Jeffs can spawn and Jeffs does spawn in. The range now is very difficult for any sort of TV engagement. The Zuni rockets are going out. The Tau missile zips by. The TV missile zips by. The helicopter battle is on with 15 tickets remaining for Cobalt Squad and Jeffs to not do much damage. They are on fire. The extremes are going down and Prolosco wins the helicopter control as a doozy is being aggressive here on, and pushing up onto Delta Point. Kamek zipping by, but he managed to get away to safety, but it's not enough. His The teammates with four flags against them ACX are gonna suffer a, the first defeat of the playoffs today in Major Division. And that is it, 168 to zero to Octavius Centurion claiming victory for their first round of the um, quarter. And it's going to be live right now. Let's zoom in here and see how the helicopter is going to do cobalt squad uh let's see what uh, miner is going to be doing the tv comes in all the way straight away from evil monkey oh no the helicopter goes down a terrible start for acx oc miner is gonna be only be able to do is take alpha right now as the swarm of infantry prolosco is gonna be vicious the tank goes down no it doesn't the kill assist with money cube and tough tone there as they did die uh, Losco here getting the Tawin. The that tank is doing a terrible. Let's see what Amroth is on. He's on 12%. He's still capping the flag, but he's not gonna last long if that helicopter stays in the air. And infantry coming in, and that is the small from Bagai finishing the day and taking out the tank. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. We have Albi climbing the ladder here. Is there any infantry here below? That is a uh, money cube taking a lift and surprise with some nice cakes, some nice slams left there. And let's see if Kamek is going to be able to make it onto Echo Point. He does have the squad mate spawning in. And there they are. Three people on Echo Point. They might be able to get this burn relatively quickly. Uh, Losco is down. And that is a good sign as Cobalt Squad here as an Igla to contest against the Doozy. And the squad mate spawns in on him. He has 15 health. He has to get to cover quickly. Otherwise, he's going to be in serious trouble and lose the... Oh, there it is. Is taken out. He just lost a chance for his team to spawn in on C and try and take out that tank. But Tough Tone here at a very good position to try and advance onwards to Delta Flag, but he is only running as Engineer. Look at this. Let's go into fourth person as a doozy is stuck there in the corner. Glitched out, and there it is. Hope he doesn't fall into the water, but there it is. The infantry just being absolutely annihilated. Burgrass sealing them off and beginning his push onto Alpha Flag. And there is the response from ACX getting ready to set up on their defensive positions to stop the push from OC onto Alpha Point. Burgrass pushing in on to Alpha Point now. 50% health. Is he going to encounter any enemies in his area right now? Healing up slowly, he does have time. Two of his infantry mans taken out. He is all by himself. Now he has this squad bomb coming in. The flag is starting to be contested. It's starting to be four infantry coming in. Miner trying to land some shots. He's getting taken out by the small. There it is. And Kamek trying to engage again, but he is completely open. Um, OC having the better positioning here. It's not looking good. Only Tough Tone remaining here on Alpha Point. And there's four infantry. There it is. He gets taken out. Burgrass, very strong infantry. Taken out and sealing the deal on Alpha Flag. Amroth here. The tank driver from ACX laying low. And with a vengeful taste for vengeance, trying to eliminate a doozy. Gets a hit for 22 on a doozy, but not much he can do. Here's a tone! Beautiful! OC Monkey and Parloski are down. Jebs with a well placed TV missile. And spectator mode, thank you. Thank you for switching to the appropriate view. And there it is. The repair is going out. Let's have a look at the big map and see what's going on. Three flags to the control of China Red, two flags to um, US Blue. But 
there is going to be a push from China Red onto Bravo Point, and there is not many infantry to stop the opposition. Three infantry here set up, one defending here. Mars pushing up onto the flag. Bravo flag is completely open, but there's Miner pushing up. The tank is on his right. He hears it. He's going to take out the slams and try and set it up, but maybe he will... There it is. Beautiful ragdoll as he does get taken out. You know what? U.S. team could try and do here is use the helicopter as a spawn beacon to get these players dropping off on Delta or Echo, as I believe what happened here with Money Cube. But I think he's just ta having a look, you know, setting up a little campfire and making sure he stays nice and safe on Echo Flag for the moment. But there it is, nice and peace and quiet on Echo Flag. No squad mates spawning in on him and not taking the opportunity to go for Delta Flag. But look at this positioning from... A doozy gets a hit for 25 on Amroth in the tank. Amroth trying to get splash damage. 50 damage, uh, 50 health remaining. There it is. A doozy gets taken out by the Viper. The Viper doing a sweep. Cobalt Squad, sweet, sweet switching. Getting one kill, second kill. Killing streaks popped. Burgas getting six kills in a row. Decent effort there from Burgas as infantry on Dawnbreaker. There it is. Chips and Cobalt Squad. Working together in tandem. Bravo flag is now being capped by US Blue. What is the look on the situation as Polosko is coming in 40 hit from Cobalt Squad. It is get taken out. Air control is remaining in the hands of ACX. They have Charlie. They do not have Bravo yet. Alpha is completely in trouble right now. And but as Kamek does take out the infantry, the incendiary grenade there, and that is going to be Shona Killer looking for um, payback. I mean uh, uh, to avenge his squad mate and he does, indeed, in the end, as Alpha Flag does stay in control for OC. Big map again. Charlie Echo in control. But there we have a doozy pushing up onto Charlie, and that will start to blink. Bravo is being contested, but with infantry having decent cover under the roofs, Cobalt Squad is going to have to line up for some pretty act decent shots to try and help his infantry capture Bravo Point. They are pushing up. They are set up. They are using the cover as well as they can here, as Burgaz and his buddy are pushing onto the point and secure Bravo point. It is grayed out. No chance here as we go to the big map again and see what's going on here. There is Lysid on the flag. One infantry to uh, stop the cap. And there is a doozy right here. He does get taken out. An evil monkey running and panicking for his life. He does get taken out as well by Cobalt Squad. Gonna kill her with the stinger. Hey, Glum, sorry. Same thing. Laser beam. Charlie is in control. 215 tickets to 72. It is not looking good. It is going to be a win for OC on map one. That TV missile well placed by... Um, mm, what was his name? By Bagai. Did cost ACX a decent start. It's not looking good here. All they need to do is hold the tip. You can have comebacks. Delta flag, Echo, Charlie, Bravo. Look like they can be in chance. Tough tone. Is Mike going to drive straight over this? <laughs> no. He must have heard me. He didn't drive over. Thank goodness for that. Tough tone can now advance and push Alpha flag. Best to go on foot from here is... Uh there is Amroth who can help out, and Amroth saying it is clear you can kill yourself and help the teammate push Delta Flag. And as Echo Flag is being exchanged right now towards um, China Red, Doozy lobbing that OP incendiary grenade, which goes through walls, but after the patch, you know, it could be a game changer. With it not going through walls anymore. And this is, um, PC. Um,. BCL is an 8v8 PC leak playing Conquest Small with amazing partners from EA France, Corsair Gaming providing some amazing prizes for the playoff winners and also uh, NitroServe for providing the 60Hz NitroFast, Nitro amazing service to cast and play on. So there is Echo is, seems to be in control of China. There is Lysid. He does get spotted. He doesn't have the advantage of having a drop on the infantry there, but gets the headshot bonus on Albi. One more infantry to take it out. He's feeling brave. He's going to push up onto the infantry with the support of the helicopter. Cobalt Squad does get the kill, but there it is. 
decent effect there uh, as Charlie is going to fall into the control of ACX. But there is, what is this my guy here in the garage? What do you guys say, garage or garage? For garage, sounds a little bit more sophisticated here. But guy being huh, careful, but no, he's gonna get taken out by Amroth. This is not looking good for ACX as they do not have the tickets in their control and they have lost the first map with tickets already. Hello, Panzer. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you to all you lovely people for spreading the word about BCL8v8 and joining us here on Level BF Twitch. Thomas is not a decent attempt by Cobalt Squad, but he did manage to get there as Jebs is racking up the kills right now. 24-7, dominating the scoreboard right now. But it is going to mean nothing if the infantry can't work together and push on the flag get the tickets they deserve but there it is comic restarting here ace miner and spawning in on him echo flag is going to be the point to take now the helicopter is in and is taken off losco being vigilant maybe he will seat switch maybe he will not he's gonna keep passive and hide and use his building for cover and remove his spotting Cobalt squad on the other side doing the same thing waiting and being patiently a mix can stand up between the two helicopters here as they wait for an opportunity for one or the other to make a mistake and begin the aggressive push one tv missile going out he has the helicopter spotted no he manages manages to miss a doozy taking off minor on echo flag He's not happy that Echo Flag is in the control of, a, of uh, ACX. 31 tickets remaining for ACX now. 156 to 31. Not looking good. Three flags to the con uh, control of ACX now, though. Getting the bleed in their favor. But with 30 tickets remaining, it's not going to be a... It could happen, but I'm going to be honest and quite frankly say I do not think ACX can turn this one around. With Alpha Flag already blinking, two infantry pushing up. And who is it to contest against them? It is Amroth. Gets taken out, of course. But Tough Tone putting up a decent fight, killing a doozy on Charlie point and waiting for his squad mates to spawn in on Charlie. Let's see here, the helicopters are being passive, lighting up the infantry parachuting up from the top of the hotel. Charlie in control, Alpha now in control of China Red. I do believe Dawnbreaker is a map of starts and how you spread out your infantry from the very beginning and where you place. There the headshot coming in for Lysid. Burgas getting taken out and the flag burning in their favor. But their infantry will spawn in and cause opposition for Lysid. Um, it is not looking good here as there is Mars coming in. The music is playing. Five tickets remaining for ACX. is not going to be a victory for them on map one of the quarterfinals here in BCL 8v8. Good evening to all you lovely people for tuning in. Raid, Sandra BS, Jobiscus. Three tickets remaining. ACX holding on by a thread. It's trying to stay in the game, but it's not going to be any chance of them having a comeback now with this map definitely lost. They're holding on. It is all a waiting game and only a matter for OC to simply overpower ACX and cap the flags. The spawns are being held. Only two players alive, Cobot and Lysid. And that is the end of map one for today's match. The next map will be um let me double check it is going to be goldman railway